Welcome back to Drum Electric. So we're going to be looking at how to control Ableton via MIDI with a drum pad. I'll be using the Roland SPDSX for this, but you don't have to. You can do this with the Alesis Strike Pad, the Sample Pad, the Yamaha DTX Sample Pad. Any sample pad that outputs MIDI, you can control Ableton. It's great. So. Let's get into it. Like I said, I'm going to be controlling Ableton with the Roland SPDSX, so I'm going to relate all of it to that. But all of this can relate to whatever drum pad you're using. So if you're using the Yamaha or the Alesis, all you'll need to do is just adjust it slightly for that. So the first thing we're going to do is install the drivers. I'm using Roland, like I said. If you're using any of the other ones, follow the same steps, but search for the required driver instead. So the first thing we want to do is install the relevant drivers. All we'll need is just the driver, on this case, a Mac, so that when the SPDSX is sending out MIDI, the computer can detect it and send it through Ableton. So to find it, I'm just going to type into Google Roland SPDSX drivers, and then it's the first thing that comes up, support SPDSX drivers and updates. We're now gonna scroll all the way down until we find the first driver that's for what we're using. In my case, I'm using a MacBook Pro. So, so we're just gonna scroll down and find the driver that we're using. In my case, I want this one here, driver version 1.05 for Mac OS 11 slash 12. It's the first one that says Mac on the list. If you're using Windows 10 or 11, then yours is all the way up here. Windows 8 is there and so on. So once I found it, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. I agree and wish to proceed with the download because, you know, a bit of late night reading, Roland Software License Agreement, tell me that's not exciting. Anyway, once you've read that, download file, and then it'll download onto your Mac. Now, this isn't an application. You won't see a new application for it. It'll just sit in the background, but it means we can control Ableton with the SPDSX now, which is always quite nice. So I'm now gonna turn around, plug this all in, open up Ableton, and show you what we do from there. So we're now behind the kit, which is always really good. The first thing we want to do is change the settings on the SPDSX. Mine's just here out of frame, so I apologize for that. But what you'll want to do is head into menu, head down to setup, head all the way down to option, and then USB mode, use the plus and minus keys to change that to audio slash MIDI. It might already be on that. It might be on wave, but that's how we do it. Then exit that, we're just gonna hit the kit button and that takes us straight back to the beginning. Now from here, we're gonna take our USB-B cable that's plugged into the back of the SPADSX. Mine's this lovely white USB cable, so there we go. I'm gonna plug that into my Mac. Now to check that that's all working, what we can do is we can head up to the top to the sound preferences and we'll be able to see the SPDSX 44.1 kilohertz, yada, yada, yada. That means that the Mac is picking up the SPDSX, which is good. So the next step is to now open Ableton and hit the SPDSX. Where you want to look is in the top right corner where there's those two little squares and they'll flash orange if we're getting a MIDI signal. Can we grab my stick? Good, we're not getting a signal. Now you're probably thinking, why, why is that good? That's, that's not the point of this. This means that there's two things that we can look at to check why we're not getting a signal into Ableton. So if we head into live and preferences and then head down into MIDI on the left, right at the bottom here, we can see that Ableton is detecting the SPDSX, which is good. Now I've got all of these ticked. They will change depending on the project and the thing you want to achieve. But for now, we can just keep all of them ticked. So we know it's not Ableton. Now what we can do on the SPDSX is check that it's actually sending out a MIDI signal. To do this, we just go into menu, kit on the top left, and then use the three buttons to select MIDI across the bottom. And we can see that the pad channel is sending global, so that's sending out all MIDI signals, but the MIDI note number is off. So this pad that I'm hitting, and this will be the same for all nine pads on the SPDSX, none of them are sending out any MIDI numbers, which is our problem. So we're just gonna use the plus and minus buttons just to select a note. So in this case, MIDI note one, I'm gonna hit the pad, watch Ableton, and there we go. The orange is flashing, we're getting a MIDI signal in, and that's why. So make sure to label each of your pads a different number. So this will be one, the next one will be two, three, and so on, as that way they'll each trigger a different MIDI note rather than triggering the same sound across. And that's it. That's how we can control Ableton with a drum pad that has MIDI. I was using the Roland SPDSX for this, and I do on pretty much all of my shows that I'm running backing track with. It makes it so much easier to control Ableton and it's great. Now this is the same method if you want to control main stage, 
or I think QLab. Haven't explored much of MIDI control in QLab. I'm pretty sure you can. Either way, all of these drivers will work with these, so now you can also MIDI control main stage, which is just really cool. So as always, please like and subscribe for all of our shiny new videos, and I will see you in the next one.